Yo, what's up guys? This recipe is for my spaghetti lovers. This is spaghetti with a twist. It's called Spaghetti Verde. Uh, it's uh, basically a green spaghetti made with lots of Mexican ingredients, tomatillo, roasted peppers, of course. Uh, I think you're gonna love it as much as I do and it's just fantastic. So let me show you how to make it. All right, the first thing we wanna do is roast our chili peppers. Uh, spaghetti Verde actually has a, a major focus on the roasted peppers. Uh, roasted peppers just make everything outstanding. Uh, they're definitely my favorite. So uh, here I have three good size poblano peppers and uh, I'm adding in a couple of jalapeno peppers because I want some extra heat. Um, you can vary that up a little. You can use hotter peppers if you want, like serranos. Uh, so, uh, and also with, with roasting peppers, there are different ways you can roast it. Uh, roast them, a lot of times I roast them on the stove top over the open flame and just kind of uh, sear them. Uh, let them blister up and you peel. Or oh, you can do it on the grill, but today we're gonna do it in the broiler, make it a little bit easier. So uh, go ahead and slice your peppers in half lengthwise, like so. And it's easy with poblanos. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut off the stems, just kind of uh, get them removed here, and peel out the innards. Poblanos aren't uh, very hot, they're not hot, they have a tiny bit of heat to them, but usually just, just massive flavor, I love them. Set it onto a baking sheet like so. And uh, you'll probably make a mess in the kitchen like I normally do, flying seeds everywhere. Can't help it. All right, let me get these all chopped up. All right, and with the jalapenos, I don't core out the jalapenos. I leave them, uh, the innards intact. Uh, most of the heat for chili peppers is within that, that white uh, pithy innard. Uh, so I just kind of leave those, leave that intact. You can um, core them out if you want to, reduce some of the heat but uh, I like the heat. All right, I've got my peppers all uh, sliced in half here and I'm gonna set them in the broiler for uh, in the middle of the oven for about uh, 12, 10 to 12 minutes until they really start to blister up and make them easier to peel. Um, but really just go by visual and, and uh, make sure they start to blister up. And uh, all right, we'll pull these out in about 10 to 12 minutes. All right, check it out guys. Nicely roasted peppers here. You can see how the, uh, the skins have puffed up and uh, have started to char. Um, at this point, you can try to just remove them. Um, some of them will come off, but it's pretty hot. Um, and you know, a lot of it comes off real easy, just like that, it's real papery. Uh, but a real good tip, actually, that uh, helps peel the peppers is you can add them to uh, like a bowl or even a plastic bag and uh, you'll cover them and it'll, it'll, uh, the heat from the peppers will steam and loosen the skins even more. So I'm just gonna add these all to a glass bowl. And you can use plastic to cover it. Uh, sometimes a towel works just fine. I have a little plastic cover. I'm just gonna set this on here for a couple minutes, let the peppers cool a bit. They will steam and loosen up those skins even more and then we'll peel it all off. All right, it's been several minutes and you can even see the condensation in the bowl here. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my lid here and transfer these peppers to my cutting board. Oh, they smell so delicious. Roasted peppers. Seriously, mm. it's even better than gorgeous garlic. So yeah, you can see how easily the, uh, the skins just peel right off. Boom, real easy, they steam up. So uh, go ahead and peel all the peppers and then we will continue. Hey guys, quick note about these uh, chili skins. You can actually, there's still plenty of flavor and uh, nutrients in these skins and they're a bit charred but you can dehydrate them actually till they're super dry and then grind them into a powder. It'd be kind of a nice charred chili powder that you can use and uh, nothing goes to waste. So something to try, right? Seriously, these skins still have a lot of appeal. <laughs> sorry, sorry. All right, my chilies are all peeled and I got those removed. So you can just give these a quick rough chop. You don't have to go crazy with it because it's going into a food processor in a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it over to a bowl for now. And then we will continue. All right, peppers are roasted. And the next step here is to get a pan set up to a good medium heat. And I'm gonna add some olive oil to get cooking here. And uh, the next ingredient is the other focus of this recipe. Uh, it's Patty's favorite. She actually loves tomatillos. Tomatillos are uh, uh, really popular in Mexican cooking. Lots of great flavor uh, for making lots of different verde uh, sauces and salsas and uh, 
dishes like this. So uh, here I have six chopped tomatillos. I'm gonna add it to the pan, along with a small white onion chopped. And I have uh, about a cup and a half of uh, chopped spinach. Uh, and this is from our garden. I love that uh, we're able to, to grow spinach much of the year. Delicious. I'm gonna cook these down for about five minutes or so to soften things up. And uh, I really can't say enough about tomatillos. Um, definitely not spicy, but they're just huge on flavor. They're great for making so many different things. And uh, uh, truly, Patty loves, anytime I'm cooking with tomatillo, she gets all excited, so. <laughs> this is for you, Patty. All right, this is all softening up nicely. So next, we're gonna add some garlic. And here I have uh, about four cloves of, of just roughly chopped garlic. And you'll just cook it down for uh, 30 seconds to a minute or so. And so you can smell the gorgeous garlic blooming in the air. Mm. All right. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from heat. And I'm gonna transfer this over to the bowl with my, with my chopped peppers. All right, I got my food processor set up here. So everything from the bowl, all my cooked tomatillos and roasted peppers, are gonna go into the food processor here. All right, and I have uh, about a half a bunch of fresh chopped cilantro. Cilantro is uh, gonna give a beautiful verde green uh, flavor here. Uh, and I have a cup of Mexican crema, and you can use sour cream if you'd like, but uh, Mexican crema is to me superior in flavor and texture. Just, uh, I love it, I uh, gotta get Mexican crema. All right, into the food processor. And here's an optional ingredient. I like to add cream cheese to mine. This gives like a body, a bit of richness to it uh, and flavor. You can skip the cream cheese and it'll thicken it up a little bit. So set that aside. And some seasonings. I have a couple of teaspoons actually of ancho powder. And uh, you can use your favorite American chili powder blend if you'd like, but ancho is boom. And a little bit of cumin. I've got about a quarter teaspoon here. And you can adjust that to taste. You can add more cumin if you'd like to. Cumin is delicious. And salt and pepper to taste. Always salt and pepper to taste. I like a lot of black pepper. All right, into the food processor. So go ahead and process until smooth. All right, look at that, my friends. Yes. So I'll go ahead and give it a little taste. You can totally uh, adjust with salt and pepper right here if you want to, but I'm good to go. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my verde sauce transferred over to my pan. And all you really wanna do is keep it warm while we get the pasta going, just to keep it nice and warm. Look at how thick that is. And we can add some uh, chicken stock if we want to, to make it a, a thinner, thinner sauce, really to your personal preference. And uh, even a little bit of water is fine, so. All right, let me get my pasta going here. So of course this is called spaghetti verde, but you can use other noodles for this. You can use uh, noodles like, like even mastacholi noodles, pretty much anything, use your favorite, but uh, today's spaghetti. All right, while the noodles are going, let's talk really quick about uh, the sauce itself. You can really adjust this uh, uh, in many different ways. Um, sometimes I like to do a little lime juice in there, add a little bit of lime for a you know, delicious limey citrus pop to it. Um, you can adjust the ratios. Uh, by adding more tomatillo. Um, you can even use fresh tomato. Um, and you can also use other peppers. I mean, this is so great with uh, other chili peppers. I, a lot of times I like to add uh, some habanero in there for a good, you know, blooming heat. It's just fantastic with this recipe. Uh, but again, it's one of those uh, uh, recipes that you can really adjust to your own heat preference and flavor preference. Yeah, smells amazing in here, my friends. So uh, let me get the pasta here. Get this uh, pasta drained. And you can use some of this, the pasta water, to uh, thin your sauce a little bit if you want to do that as well. And, all right, pasta into your sauce. Ooh, got it all, nice. Yeah, just kind of mix it all together. And uh, this is a vegetarian version of the recipe. Um, you can very easily add protein to it, uh, or other vegetables really, to kind of round out the whole meal. Um, a lot of times I like to serve mine with chicken, 
uh, or I really love it with shrimp. It's just so delicious. You can tuck the shrimp in there and cook it or, or sear them up in a pan and just kind of mix them all in together. Uh, fish is actually super nice too. So uh, I really wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing in here. Yo. All right, I'm ready to dig into this. So uh, let me give it a taste. All right, give me some of this. Mm. <laughs> mm. Dude, you need this recipe. It's really, really good. Spaghetti Verde, my friends, and I hope you guys love it as much as we do. You can definitely spice it up if you want to. Uh, I'd love to hear in the comments below what, you, uh, what your favorite pasta dish is. Um, I'm really, really hoping this kind of rises up your list because we just love it. Um, but hey, if you guys are looking for uh, another unique pasta dish, you gotta check out my Cajun pasta. That has lots of Cajun seasonings, lots of flavor, delicious ingredients. Uh, or if you're looking for more of the Verde flavor, check out my Salsa Verde. Super easy to make and big flavor. So, uh, all right, hope to see you in the kitchen next time. Uh, give the video a like if you like the recipe. See you next time, bye.